Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm 22 years old and I'm addicted to The Whip by Loxley. So I first heard the song like two or three years ago um, when I started following the Blue Jackets. It's their goal song. So I mean, obviously it gets me really hyped and pumped up and at the games whenever they score a goal and they play that song, it just makes me so happy. So why not listen to it in real life all the time and make myself happy? I mean, my sisters and my family think that I listen to it too much or that I do crazy things when I'm listening to the song, but personally, I don't think there's anything wrong if the song makes me happy. There's nothing wrong with listening to it and there's nothing wrong with dancing and having a good time when I hear it. They say it's uncontrollable, I can control it. Like, if I didn't want to dance, I wouldn't dance. If I didn't want to sing along and be happy, I wouldn't do those things. But I choose to do those things, I like the song, and that's that. There's nothing more to it. Lindsay's my sister. She's been into hockey for about two years now. I mean, no one expected it to get this out of control. I like the song too. It's a good catchy song, but at this point it's getting out of hand. I mean, she's constantly listening to it. She's listening to it while she's sleeping, brushing her teeth, eating breakfast. I mean, Enough. I, I need a minute. When I hear the song, it reminds me of when the Blue Jackets score a goal, and I get happy. What's the problem? Why am I the bad guy here? Can someone explain that to me? I don't. I don't see this as an addiction. It's like when you take medicine when you're sad or when you're sick or whatever, and the medicine makes you feel better. The whip is my medicine. Sure, the song doesn't make any sense. Sure, I don't understand why it's their goal song, but the oh uh oh part? <laughs> Musical genius. Who could have thought of happier, just like the most simple but yet happy lyrics? The rest of the song though, I mean, it doesn't really make that much sense, but it still hypes me up. I think the song's really weird to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's a weird song, I, I'll admit that. She's dangerous. I mean, she stops whatever she's doing just to dance to the song. One time we were having a party outside and the song came on and she dropped our two-year-old cousin into the pool. And there was another time she was baking a chocolate cake and the song came on shuffle. She starts dancing and drops the bowl of chocolate mix all over the ground, shatters. Our other sister walks up the stairs, slips, falls into the glass. Chocolate, blood, glass, everywhere. Everywhere. Thanks, Lindsay. What more proof do you need? She is insane. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I dropped my cousin like on purpose. Like I was like, oh, like the song, like throw her in the pool. Like I didn't like drop her on the concrete. Like I, no, she didn't know how to swim. I didn't know that. No one told me like, why would her parents not tell me like, hey, she doesn't know how to swim. Why did she come to a pool party if she can't swim? Like, how's that my fault? And like my sister walking up, like, hello, there's glass on the floor. Like, are you really gonna walk up here and slip in the glass? That's not my fault. She slipped in the glass. She heard it break. She knew there was glass on the floor. Sorry. None of her friends want to hang out with her anymore because like she's, she's dangerous. Wasn't she supposed to be here by now? She was supposed to be here like an hour ago. Huh, that's weird. Wonder where she's at. Oh, here, watch out, there's a car coming. Oh my god, that's her! That's what? her! What? Ah! Ah! I, I feel unsafe driving with her. The other day, she almost hit our crossing guard because she was listening to the song and dancing, not paying attention to the road. And not to mention, it's the only song that she ever listens to over and over and over again. What was the question again? And yeah, the crossing guard walked in front of my car. Like, hello, I'm driving. Like, maybe you shouldn't just walk in front of people's cars while they're driving. She's trying to make them seem like they're my fault, but really, if your kid can't swim, if the crossing guard is gonna walk into the middle of the street, pay more attention to the things around you. It's funny that I'm on this show, My Strange Addiction. Like, for one, I don't think this counts as an addiction. I don't see how I'm possibly addicted <laughs> to a song. Ridiculous. And then two, if this were an addiction, it's not strange. I'm not eating the couch like some of these other people. I'm just dancing to my favorite song. <laughs> What's so bad about that? But yeah, in the end, everybody thinks that I need to go get professional help because they think that this addiction is just tearing my life apart. But really, like, I am i couldn't be happier. Um, I think everyone else needs to go to therapy and see why they're so sad and butthurt that I enjoy this song. And yeah, they call me dangerous. They say I stress them out. That's not my problem. I'm out here living my life, dancing, having a good time, celebrating. If uh, you think there's a problem, you're the one that needs help. I'm happy. I'm good.